Good morning, happy Monday, and I hope you guys are about to crack into a great week. I know I am, and I wanna show you a platform that I've been using, and one of the ways that I am able to both build great applications for my clients, but then also kind of help win some of my clients. And there are a lot of AI tooling, there's a lot of AI tooling out there, and I totally get that. So I understand not wanting to always switch around and, and, and change workflows. One of the workflows, though, that's really important for me is that as a developer, I want to show a client. Sometimes, you know, I want to show a client that I understand their vision and that I can build that for them. And Abacus AI is a great way for me to do that, not only for once I'm building a project to kind of create these great mockups and interactive mockups for me to kind of play with. Oh, that's not right. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I like this. I don't like that. Um, kind of help bring some of those ideas that the client wanted to life. I can also win clients through using a platform just like this. And so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm currently uh, on abacusai.com and I'm using their deep agent right now. Um, and I'll just kind of uh, show you what the platform looks like. So when you're at uh, on Abacus AI and you go to chat LLM, there's a button down here called deep agent. And I'm gonna go to that. Now I already have a pre-made uh, uh, prompt here and so basically I'm saying hey I want to create an interactive mock-up of the blow and this is actually for uh, one of the tabs within an iPad app for a client and I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna run this and so I really what I'm trying to hit here is there's there's two main points that I love using these vibe coding tools for like, like Abacus AI number one to help win a client and number two to help you find mistakes in design and usage and interactivity within the software you're gonna build before you kind of go to like a final product. And so um, the, one of the things that I've found with Abacus so far is that it doesn't just like make assumptions and then run with them. It, it tries to clarify some of its assumptions. So for example, it says sample data. Should I populate the mockup with realistic sample data? Um, I'll say, please just provide sample data for this interactive mockup. Two, interactivity level. Do you want a fully uh, functional prototype where all interactions work? Sorry, correct. Please provide in interactions like searching, sorting, and period switching. Charting library it looks the most beautiful and can meet spec UI requirements. And then period, term, and context. Should I mock up multiple periods? Yes, please. And then we'll go ahead and send it off to the races. So, okay. so I did make one modification here to my prompt and I just said to use Next.js um, and I have found that that's just going to help us create like a, a really simple preview within Abacus AI. And so it is now working on that and we'll see what we can get here. All right. So it's shifted over to the left here and now on the right side, you can see it's got this like preview mode and obviously we can't preview it yet because it's still building the initial application and I'm doing this in live time, so I haven't actually, I don't know what this is going to end up coming up with, but what I can say is that it makes it easier to kind of edit and play around with whatever we get, and then we can all just move that to, I'll usually just take a screenshot or whatever, and I can provide that for wherever else I like to, if I want to go to my, my final production build um, when I build. Uh, and so this, again, this is just a really great way to create quick mockups uh, to kind of nail things with interactivity and functionality before you decide to go to a final implementation. All right, so we're finally getting the, it's been about three minutes and we have our first mock-up and it's provided this for us. And so let me move myself. All right, so we can choose between a session and a term, which uh, is important for me for the app that I'm building. We can select groups, students, we can see the graph here. We can select a 
we can slay, you know, select, you know, a strong rhino, and then it gives a little bit of a breakdown of what's going on there. Oh, and it also knows that Rhino is a part of Team Theta. Okay. So we can look at, you know, that. Oh, still doing some work here. And there's that. So it gives us a breakdown, gives us a nice, a, a really pretty graph here, bar chart. And so what I'm going to say here, that I do want one modification. You provoke. Can you provide this in light mode, please? No dark background. Let's see what we get. All right, so I just asked it to go into a light mode and boom, here we go. And so what I really like about this is it's, function it's functional, so we can sort it by alphabetical, we can search for a student, so let's do a bright star. There it is. And so I can play around with this, decide, you know, I actually don't like some of my design specs and I wanna change that around. And so what I'll end up doing is I'll, I'll take a snapshot of this, just a screenshot, and I can share this in my final, um, where I go and, and build out my final code base. And so if you wanna show this, you know, with maybe you're, you're working um, with some other team members, let's we'll deploy this. We'll just, uh, example iPad analytics app. And so at that URL, so we can click on it and boom, there it is. And then you could share this with someone in your team and then they could play around with it, see what they like, don't like, ask you to make revisions and changes. So. If you want to check out this platform, I'll leave a link down below and you guys can check it out there and use that referral code. Uh, appreciate it. Thanks, Abacus, and uh, have a great week.